Hey YouTube, this is Zeta from Z and KK's Crafts. So today I wanted to show you how to make some easy, beautiful, elegant art um, very cheaply. So I we have a store in Cleveland, it's called Marks, and uh, these were in um, the store and they were three for a dollar. So I bought six of them. So um, I've already done a test so I wanted to share with you what I came up with um, I mean for cheap so um, I'm going to open these up and the first thing is going to be to paint them all black as a black base so that's where we're going to start there and then I'll be back okay so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a base I'm going to paint both of them I'm going to paint this all black and I'm going to do two black, and I have other ones. I'm going to do two black, two silver. So I'm just using some basic um, acrylic paint to do this, um, to do my base. And this one is a little banged up, but what you want for three, four dollar. So I maybe probably put a piece of aluminum foil over that. Okay, so um, that's it. I'm just real simple. And these, you want to kind of color them all the way to the edge. And then you can go back and, you know, lighten them up with gold trim or whatever you want to do with them. Okay. I'm going to start here. And I'm not, think, I'm not saying that these are ugly. I'm just saying they're just not my taste. I don't have anything that match this. This, this. this is not my decor. Now, I wish I had bought more than just six of them. Because I can... Um, you know do them all over the house and don't worry about this first coat it is not going to cover well but you do want to kind of concentrate and make sure you kind of get your little edges done because you um you know, those will be visible. And to me, that's what makes it, um, that's what makes it pop. You know, once you finish um, putting on the paint and then you trim it out with a little gold or silver or whatever, that's what makes it um, look more professional, look more polished, just look more finished. And like I said, don't worry about this first coat. You're just trying to get a base right now. And I already did a test. So, um, you know, they are different pictures, but I'm assuming the same technique will work for both of them. And I think I told you before that it's going to be two coats of paint. Now this is just really kind of like a base coat. Don't worry. Very easy, um, easy, elegant art. And I saw this on YouTube. Um, there was a guy on or girl, I don't know, I only saw the hands, so, and they didn't speak, uh, but it was a guy or a girl on YouTube, and they, I was looking for, um, gold leaf, wall treatments and stuff like that, and wall art and stuff like that, something like, um, Z Gallery inspired kind of thing, and, um, I ran across that. But I only liked it to the first few steps. I didn't, once they started putting all the paint and all that on it, you know, which you can do. You can incorporate paint 
into these and make them, you know, match your room. You know, and I am. I'm incorporating paint to make them match my room, but I'm just trying to stick with um, metallics. Not metallic. Yeah, like gold and silver and black. I don't really want to color. I have enough color. My, my um, curtains are already colored enough. My sofa's colored. and I, I don't really need more color. So, anyway, I'll be back. Okay, so in step two, what you're going to do is you're going to just paint these all black. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint them black. If I don't like it in the end, I can always prime it and uh, make it sparkly or whatever the case may be. But for right now, I think I'm going to go with black because I think that's what's going to make it pop. So I'm just going to quickly paint all these same acrylic paint and I probably will use a varnish on these to make them shiny when I'm finished because acrylic paint is going to dry kind of dull and I'll probably use a varnish depending on how it looks depending on how it looks so um I will be back to show you what it looks like when it's finished with this first coat because it probably will take two coats to make it look rich okay Okay, so the next step is to uh, get your glue gun ready and get you a little bit of aluminum foil. This is uh, Reynolds Heavy Duty uh, aluminum foil, and you just, you know, you ball it up. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want, then you unwiggle it, and you know, if you find a shape you like, you just, you know, keep it in the shape. Some can be less wiggly, and, I mean, some can be less balled up and some not. Okay, so the next step is, oh, sorry. The next step is, now, each one of these boards are going in, going to be going in different directions, as you can see. So I lay them out in that direction so that I'll know what is the front and um, back. They have been painted twice with just plain acrylic paint as I told you before just two coats of the plain acrylic paint and then you take your hot glue gun and you just lay down some pieces that, that's really all it is you just lay them down now that one might not have a lot of crinkles in it then you can add a piece that has more crinkles with it I think I want this one on this one right here Lay it down flat. Now you see, I scratched this. Did, can you see that? That uh, this is scratched up a little bit. Let me see. No, you can't see it. Right in here. Scratched up just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the aluminum foil. That tells me where the aluminum foil need to go. The aluminum foil need to go right there. Okay. And you are gonna spray paint this again, also. So it doesn't really kind of matter, you know. It's and it's it's abstract too. So it's not like a wrong or right. You know, it's not a wrong or right. You just do what you can do. You know? Okay. So, after that, take your glue gun. And you just start laying it down. And as I told you before, this glue gets very hot. So you have to be a little careful. The glue gets hot and the aluminum foil gets very hot. So... Need to be a little careful. Hot. 
cut. Okay, I'll be back after, and it's just that kind of simple. It's really that simple. You just gluing it on anywhere you want it. I'll be back to um, show you the next step. Okay, I've um, glued down with my hot glue gun. I have glued down all the pieces in the way that I like it. And what I also did was... I took some more black paint and touched up any place that I wanted, just, you know, where it was rubbing off. Because this seemed to rub off when I, you know, like my nails were scraping on it and it was rubbing off. So where it was rubbing off, I um, I just went back and touched it up a little bit. You know, no big deal. So, um, like I said, I did try to do it in the direction that I want these to go. I'm, I, I think I really don't even remember. I know they're going across, you know, like that. And um, so anyway, I'm just going to keep on moving like this. So the next step would be to take your hot gun and to just drizzle, just drizzle lines on it. That's all. Oh, wait a minute. Hot gun acting funny. Look, ain't there something? And I know right now it doesn't look like anything, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's um, finished. Not actually finished, because what happened was I um, finished the writing, you know, the, the letters. I painted those black, and then I um, just need a thicker line just right in here. I, think. I painted it black, and then... Um, I put a varnish on it and I actually think that I like the matte black on it seems like it pops better than the um, than the shiny so I'll be back to show you that but this is just a this is what it is it's very simple very very simple very simple okay I'll be back Okay, so what you do is you take some of this in silver or gold and um, take it outside and you just spray it. I want to do two gold and two silver. So I've already did my test piece and I'll show you my test piece. And this is the test piece. And like I said, I, I really, I really, really love it. I really, really love it. It is, it's just beautiful. It has a little metallic -y. It looks rich, you know. And what I did was I went back around the edges and just trimmed it out <coughs> in a little bit of black, uh, 
acrylic paint around the edges just to freshen it up because it you know it got sprayed on from the spray paint and I think that what I'll do is when I'm doing my next one I'll make sure that I make sure that edge is really you know prevalent so you can really see it and it's really sharper and then go back in and do it with the paint but these also have a different edge you see that they they have a different edge so I have to figure out how I'm gonna do that one but anyway so next step would be to you've already painted your letters is to put your letters on as I said at first I tried the shiny one and I the shiny one is pretty it is shiny it's, it's um I varnished it so the one I would just glue it down you know with some e6000 and glue it down and then you know hang it up but really what I like is the the matte to me the matte on that shiny just that that's just rich so I believe that I'm going to paint this back to the it's the only painted one side I'm gonna paint the other side back matte and I think I'm gonna roll with the matte ones the matte just makes it look so rich and elegant so let me get the rest of them so you can see now that's hope this is how I believe would look believe live and the shiny dream so as I said I think I like the mat the mat to me the mat with the shiny looks rich so I think I'm gonna go with that when I come back it's night now you know it's nighttime now so the other ones that I have I'm going to have to do two of those in silver and then two of those in one in gold to make my collection and I'll be back with that okay I'm back uh, I have painted I have sprayed everything with the metallic silver and the metallic gold and like I said, this one is my test one, and I actually like it the best. This one has a different kind of edge. So um, what I did was, this is how it looks just sprayed. So you can always do it just like that. But I put a little bit of black on here, and I'm going to trim these out in black. So that when I put the... Um, the words on it it will pop so you see how that black just makes it pop a little bit more I mean you can do it either way you know it's a, it's, a, it's like I said it's a very simple um a simple project it's a simple elegant project and I'm gonna do gold silver gold silver going down my wall and like I said this one is kind of like my favorite one and uh, I'm gonna go back to marks and see if I can find some more of these um these free edges ones, I like those better than these, but these are larger. So, um, so that's kind of like it. So that's the end of the project. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is Zeta with Z and KK's Craft.